Datalyzer International was the first company to supply commercial SPC software back in 1979. During our long history, we continuously improved and expanded our products. In this video, we will show how FMEA and control planning fit in the quality planning process and how this module is used in combination with the Datalyzer MSA and SPC modules. We will show how the Datalyzer FMEA module will help you do the FMEA and control planning processes more efficiently. The use of FMEA started in 1950 in the aviation industry. Now it is used in more and more industries. In some industries, it is now mandatory to, to apply FMEA and control planning. It is, for example, part of a Six Sigma implementation during the measure and analysis phase. In the automotive industry, the use of FMEA and control planning are required in the ISO TS 16949 specification as part of the Advanced Product Quality Planning Framework. During the product design and development phase, FMEA and control planning techniques are used for the first time. The design team will create a design FMEA and the APQP team will produce a prototype control plan. The output documents of this phase will be used as input documents for the next phase, the process design and development. During this phase, the team will make a process FMEA and a pre-launch control plan and will plan the MSA and the process capability study. When the process design is ready, the next phase is the pilot phase where the product and process validation will be performed. During this phase, the MSA and process capability studies will be made. During production, all techniques come together. Based on the analysis of all results, the production control plan will be established and it is determined where and how SPC techniques will be applied. Part of the control plan is the reaction plan. The reaction plan can be defined as a document or a flowchart. When out of control points occur, an analysis of the cause will be made and the operator can open the out of control action plan. If the cause is in the list of causes and actions, it was already established during the FMEA and control planning processes. If the cause of the problem is not in the list, the operators can enter a free form note and the corrective and preventive action process also known as CAPA, can be started. Part of the CAPA process can be a review of the FMEA and control plan by the FMEA team. When you create an FMEA in Datalyzer, the data entry screen appears. The format of the FMEA is very strict. One requirement can have multiple failure modes. One failure mode can have multiple effects. One failure mode has only one severity number. One failure mode can have multiple causes. If, for example, you add a cause, then the layout of the screen will be automatically updated. During data entry, the fields will be automatically enlarged. This saves a lot of time because users don't need to worry about the structure and the layout is automatically updated. Where applicable, the user can view a list of possible values. The predefined lists can be updated based on the specific requirements in a type of industry. When a risk priority number is too high, actions need to be taken to reduce the risk priority number. There can be hundreds of FMEAs active, 
so it's important that there is a system in place to monitor the status of the open actions. Although the FMEA format shows responsibility and completion date in the same column, the information is actually stored in two separate fields in the Datalyzer database. So the user can pick the person who is responsible from the list and select a target completion date from the calendar. The planned action is automatically available on the action list, which can be used to manage actions across FMEAs. If an action is done, this can be registered under the Action Result column, and this consists of three fields. If the completed status box is ticked, the action will be removed from the action list. Using an integrated action list saves engineers and managers time, and it helps to make sure actions are performed in time. Timely actions are a high priority for customers and auditors. An important purpose of the FMEA process is to share process knowledge between teams and to make sure that failures found in one product will not be repeated in another similar product. In Datalyzer FMEA, this is supported by the option to make standard FMEAs and adopt these in other FMEAs. The combined steps are sorted on the process number. An adopted FMEA is indicated by a blue colour and the FMEA steps in blue cannot be changed in this screen. An adopted FMEA is not a copy, it is a link. This means if the standard FMEA is changed, then all FMEAs using the standard FMEA will change. Having both standard FMEA steps and customer-specific FMEA steps ensures that process improvements are assigned to the right teams, and the FMEA process can be both effective and efficient. The control plan is linked to the FMEA for each process step. In Datalyzer FMEA, you can automatically link a control plan to an FMEA. This means the process steps are taken from the flow structure in the FMEA and cannot be changed in the control plan. To make sure the control plan is standardised as much as possible on the shop floor, we work with predefined lists. You can define a list for most columns in the control plan. A big advantage if we work with predefined lists is that it is easy to translate the control plan. This means users don't need to make two versions of the control plan, one for the customer and one for people on the shop floor. In this video we showed how the Datalyzer modules can help you during the implementation of advanced quality planning and we showed some of the unique selling points of the Datalyzer FMEA and control planning module. Please contact us for further information or a free download to evaluate how Datalyzer FMEA and control planning can optimise your process.